founder of a Minnesota-based nonprofit is sharing their experience working in Haiti. Parts of that country have faced a surge of gang violence in just recent weeks. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joins us now with more on this effort. Mary? Well, Amy and Randy, from a massive earthquake to riots and gang violence, the challenges facing the country of Haiti are very real. But so is the work being done there by a local nonprofit. I've seen a lot of things. Uh, unfortunately, not much compares to the what Haiti's going through now. The country of Haiti has been fraught with issues throughout the years. But now the Caribbean nation is facing one of its biggest challenges yet, as violent gangs control 75% of the capital city, with attacks and abductions surging. The challenge of, of continuing to operate in an uncertain environment like Haiti is is uh, very real. Neil Van Dyne has lived there for 30 years with Minnesota-based nonprofit Haiti Outreach, working to bring clean water and sanitation to rural portions of the country. The work has become harder recently, with some crews now forced to fly over gang-controlled areas to carry out their mission. But despite those issues, their work continues. It's inspiring to see both our team stepping up and, and the leaders, the communities, stepping up to create a new future for their families. Their team has been able to build the first 24-7 fully functional water system in the country, giving more than 300 households access to clean water. All of this would not be possible without the generosity of those in the North Star State who have dedicated their time and money to the organization over the years. The people of Minnesota are as much a part of the success of this as the people in Haiti. Van Dyne says it's that dedication from Minnesotans that will help both Haiti outreach and the country of Haiti move in the right direction. Now we have much more information about the work that Haiti outreach does and how you can donate on our website. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.